Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest in our Brothers Rivalry story arc. This is Mikhail's episode, who is having a much easier time at everything, it seems. <laughs> so I just got done recording Aspen's episode, and you'll see what happens. <laughs> but uh, Mikhail definitely, he's, he's having a better time in literally everything. And so he's already here in Slough Creek, and we're going to be looking for the dens that Kiba, his mother, used because that is one of his quirks, is that he loved his mother and his family so much that he wants to be in those dens. So we're going to head straight north and then to the east, to that side of the map. And we might end up starting in the den that he left to the rendezvous site when he was a pup. So yeah, and we've got Kirby here with us. And we'll go ahead and go into this screen, even though it makes my face super shiny. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, our food is all the way down to 49%. So we can't even sleep. We can't even humor sleeping right now um, until it is above... 75% until he has pups. Once he has pups, it has to be above 100% period. Um, let's see. I did not check Kirby's stats. Why didn't I do that? Hmm. Hold one moment. I want to know her stats. <laughs> one second. So here's Kirby. <laughs> I did actually manage to get us to look at her. I wanted to see her stats really quick since she is the mate we went with for Mikhail and she has no ups or downs that's honestly the best you can get to me in a accurate setting because she, yes she doesn't have any like extras but she doesn't have any minuses and that's what you want and she's aged too so they'll age really well together it also looks like she has been in some fights. She has got some scars across her face. She is hardcore. <laughs> I love her. I love her coloring. I love her attitude. I love her stats. Don't even know how that's possible for her to be this awesome. Okay, back to the game. So now that we're back with these two, I already heal, heal, hear howling in the background from other wolves that are running around, probably also trying to find their den and set up to have pups in the spring. But we are hungry and we need to start taking over some territory right away. If we could find a carcass, that would bring me a lot of peace of mind. So in the beginning here, it's gonna be a lot of me going up, taking territory with our wonderful male, <laughs> Mikhail, and his beautiful female, Kirby. And you guys don't want to see all that, but if anything interesting happens, I will for sure stop and let you know. Oh, I don't know if I've heard Kirby howl yet, but I love her howl. It sounds almost kind of desperate or like she's forcing it, but it's really cool. Oh my gosh. I, I am literally like so happy that Mikhail got her as as a mate they they honestly balance each other so well even though she doesn't have any pluses or minuses it's like she completes him and it's perfect At the moment, I think Mikhail is a little bit nervous um, because he has really only seen mule deer. Now, I did just find this, so this is good news. But to him, mule deer seem impossible. He knows that he's slow. He knows that his stamina isn't the best that it could be. 
And so mule deer seem like an absolutely impossible task for him. So elk is the only way to go. Even with his power mate, he knows that he would just let her down if they went after a mule deer. So until we can balance out that speed a little bit, he'll probably just stick to elk and finding carcasses. But our two beautiful ones need to eat. And so we're gonna do a spot of hunting right now, it looks like. Perfect. All right, Kirby. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's too healthy. Um, but that was really good on Kirby's part because she ran up and got that elk distracted. Oh, this one might work. Oh, there she goes. Gosh, Kirby, you're so intense. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let go. Okay, so our stamina is not good, but we got her down quite a bit. So all we have to do is just follow her long enough to get her down some more. Gosh, that stamina recovers so slow, you guys. <laughs> so slow. Yes, run into the trees. Kirby is just powering ahead though. Good job, Kirby. Oh my gosh. Oh. She did get hit by that elk, though. I saw her health go down. Keep going. If you can slow her down, I can hit hard. <laughs> okay, we're going to use some of our stamina to catch up and help her. One, two, three, four. Let go. Oh, yes, we got her to stop. This is where we shine. Awesome! Teamwork. Oh my gosh, she is fearless. She really is fearless, ow. Oh, her stamina just doesn't recover fast enough. You're just gonna have to do it yourself, Kirby, until I can get that stamina back up. Wow, she's taken quite a few hits for us too. There we go. Oh, got her down. Oh, we just don't have stamina. There she goes, there she goes! Ah, yes! Yes! Oh, that's so good. Good job! Is this our new power couple, you guys? Are Kirby and Mikhail the new power couple? I don't wanna speak too soon. I want Aspen to have a chance. Anything could happen. I mean, for all we know, Kirby and Mikhail could have one pup and, you know, anything happens in this. Ugh. I don't want to let them sleep, even though they really need it. Oh, she, look at her. She's like, look, we did so good. Oh, uh, she deserves a face kissy for that. Oh, she walked away. We'll come back. Oh, they did so good. All right, let's get them to pose near their kill because I do need a thumbnail picture, which I keep forgetting to do. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. All right, let's do that. Okay, well now that they've done that, we're gonna keep taking territory and then we might let them sleep if it gets too bad. Hopefully his hunger won't drop below 75% before that because that'd be super annoying. Mikhail and Kirby did end up finding uh, Kiba's old den, the one that's far to the east. But to make sure it's extra protected, Mikhail is going to take the risk and try and take this spot and it happens to be right next to a bison carcass how does he have this luck i'm i'm so mad for aspen you guys i am legit angry i wanted so much better for aspen oh don't you bite my butt
Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh my gosh. Did Kirby just chase them off? You guys, she's so intense. <laughs> she's so intense. I can't even with her right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so assuming Hubby cut all of that out, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I've got 13 spots, but I've only found two dens, and you're supposed to find four. So I'm going to try and take the ones on top to get the remaining two and see if I can't find the other two dens possibly. They might actually be lower, and I'm just fooling myself thinking that they're higher. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet you guys back where we'll pick a den for our wonderful couple! Ah, uh, so Mikhail has found his mother's other den which is pretty good. I think if we look at the map, if we just go up north to that red square and we take it, that'll be it. And we could go ahead and den at this site just like Kiba did. Now, as you can see, they're exhausted. So this is probably all the energy they will have left. And then it is time for puppies. We've done it, you guys! And now we are putting in Snagglefang for the Snagglefang pack. So Mikhail is the first to take on the name officially. Now, that does not mean he's the heir. We will determine that at the end when their pups are all grown up. And for those of you rooting for Aspen, keep rooting for him. Things could turn around, you never know. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and choose that den and we're gonna have puppies in this episode. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Hubby to cut out all of that, and that way we can we can actually see how many puppies they have in this episode. <laughs> oh, but I'm gonna need names, you guys. I need names. So if if you are watching this and you want to suggest a name for one of their pups, please post it in the comments. Even if it's just two seconds of you write like. David, <laughs> you know, as a name suggestion. Just do it. And then if I don't get any suggestions, I'll just name them myself. Um, and you'll only have a week to do it from when this episode posts. So make sure you're posting those name suggestions. Here we go. Okay, so this is an open den with little to no tree and ground cover. It is more vulnerable to eagle attacks, but cougars have fewer places to hide and ambush your pups. That's kind of what we want. Forest dens are a little sketchy. I think that's one of the reasons why we lost Teo is that was a forested den, so the coyotes had a better place to hide. Okay, so we are going to call this... We're going to call this Cold Nose Den. I was thinking, what would Mikhail call this den? And, and so... I thought, well, maybe when he was a pup, his nose was really cold on the stones because he was so little. So we're going to call it Cold Nose Den. <laughs> I think that's kind of cute. All right. Oh, choose the same den that you were born in. That's an achievement that we got. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so cool. All right. So we're going to give Mikhail some pluses and stuff. <laughs> The stamina actually hasn't been as much of an issue as I would I would have thought. Um, the speed scares me a little bit. So let's go ahead and view these perks. I've been thinking so hard about how I want to do this. But he already has a plus in strength, which is helping him with hunting. I think I'm going to give him more. So now he does twice as much damage. So he'll have a plus two in strength, as well as a plus two in health. As far as hitting and surviving, he'll be unstoppable. He just can't hit over and over and over again. 
And then I'm going to put a plus in speed to balance him out because I want him to be able to get those points with the coyotes. Well, coyotes are about as fast as wolves, maybe a little faster. So I want to give him at least on par with a coyote if he's ever gonna get those points in killing a coyote. Okay, and then let's see. I think by far youthful prowess is the better one. Um, mainly because sick pups are more likely to recover. It always makes me sad when you lose a pup to sickness. It's more likely inaccurate. And so we're going to go with this one for Mikhail. So he'll have plus one in strength, plus one in speed, and youthful prowess. Advance to age three. Are you guys ready for puppies? Woo! Okay, let's see how many they have. So that means I need five names. It looks like we've got three males and two females. This is the first time we will have female pups in this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not going to name them right now. So they'll just be called Snagglefang and then 2M just means uh, the second male, second female, third male, fourth male, and third female. So we're gonna get to look at their coats and then maybe you, what you guys can do is say, hey, the gray one, I think it should be named this. So we're gonna go ahead and call them out. Oh my gosh, Mikhail, you're a dad. <laughs> you're a dad. Oh. Okay, so this is a male right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I, I, oh my goodness, look at this light colored one. Kirby's like, are you gonna feed them or are you just gonna look at them? <laughs> wow, so let's see. Okay, we've got, wow. So the third male is this gray and bright white colored, almost like Kiba a little bit. Um, it looks like the second female is a dark chocolate brown. The third female is this pretty light, like tan color. Oh my gosh. The fourth male is red and the second male is black, like his dad. <laughs> oh yes, eat more, eat more. Oh my goodness, you guys. There's his babies. Minus one. Where's the other one? Oh gosh, we've already lost one. This is really bad. <laughs> but look at that. Oh my goodness. Mikhail, I'm proud. I'm so proud. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to leave it here because I'm not going to let it run while I'm doing an outro because that's how bad things happen, like Teo. Yep. So if you liked this episode, make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to see more it is completely free you guys like so all you have to do is hit the button it doesn't cost anything it's not a it's not like a paid for a subscription it's completely free and then you'll get updates on every time i post videos if you ring the little bell next to the subscription sign so please do that and don't forget to share the videos the more you share the more it helps me grow it's better for us as a whole hi keepa <laughs> All right, well, thanks again for watching. Kiba says bye. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.